What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. What I have for you today is an external tool using which you can create awesome Minecraft JSON signs. And what is a JSON sign, you might ask? And this is a JSON sign. It supports colors and styles like here, you see, this is bold text, this is strike through, and this is italic. And it also supports scores and player selectors. Also, click events are possible. And if I right click it, I get a cookie. Nice, isn't it? So if I do scoreboard objectives, set display sidebar test, you see my test score is 42, which is the score that I inserted here. And the nearest player, this is me. You see, this is my player name. Okay. So how do you create such JSON signs, you might ask? And therefore, I programmed my JSON sign generator and it comes as a jar file. After downloading it, all you have to do is double click to run. Usually, if you're on Windows, sometimes if you assigned like a program that unarchives the file like WinRAR or something, um, you might have to open it using the console. Just Google how this works. It's not that hard. Okay, so let's get to the actual JSON sign generator. Here it is. And you see, it has an instant preview. So whenever we change the text here or something, it gets instantly updated, which is pretty nice. And yeah, so we have these four rows of text. And let's start with some very basic text first. So let's just say hello. And because this is just boring black text, as we can use it in normal signs as well, we want to make it special. So let's make that one red, for example. And because, yeah, the hello is not uh, friendly enough, we need to make it bold. And you see all of that is with the instant preview and it looks pretty nice. And then in the next line, you can say this is uh, colored. And you do not want to have the whole text in the same color, okay? So if we just make that one underline, for example, we can add another element using this button to the same line. And here we can uh, like input a different text and actually apply other effects to it. So this one is now golden while in the same row, this text uh, is black and underlined, okay? So I think that's pretty cool. And you can, of course, if you don't like that one, just remove it and only this one remains. Then for the next line, we can just do some obfuscated text. And here you go. You see the obfuscated is instantly previewed as well. You can actually play any style you want there as well. And next uh, we have the last line. You can input anything you want, for example. Uh, last line and make it look pretty using the colors and the styles. So once you're done, what you're going to get is a slash block data command, which basically updates the data of a block at given coordinates um, to be this sign. So let's just adjust the coordinates. They are relative coordinates here, but of course you can remove that and use um, absolute coordinates. So let me just use uh, one, one in the Y axis incremented. So if I copy it to clipboard now and head over back to Minecraft, all I need to do is get myself a sign here and give myself a command block. Here we go. Paste the command in it. And because the coordinates are relative one above, it means that this block is going to be affected because it's one above the command block. So I'm just going to take a button and activate the whole thing. And you see, it's this red color colored. It has some obfuscated text. And this is the last line with strike through. Basically the same that we could see in the preview here. Isn't that nice? Okay. So the next thing that's possible, of course, are sit player selectors. And for that, let me just clear the whole sign. 
characters and we can of course just use any selector for example at a or at p which is then going to output the nearest player or you can of course make at p with a score of test min equals 42 so you can just input any player selector that you use in command blocks as well of course it can be an entity selector as well so you can also target entities with that and yeah i think um that's pretty nice but here you can only see crush pixel which is my name uh, as a preview because i cannot know which is um which the what the player selector will output in the game so this is just a placeholder for a player selector and of course you can assign colors for that as well and in the next line i'm going to show you how to use the score of course this is another placeholder and it's over 9000 and again you have a player selector here um in this case it's just going to target the nearest player and for objective you have your objective name meaning um, if your objective is called test you input test here and it's going to display the value for the nearest player for the objective test on the sign and yeah that's how it works you can add styles as well then next and finally we have the translate and this is pretty interesting because um, there are a lot of translation keys in Minecraft. I have a list to all of them in the video description. And you just need to input a translation key, for example, item.cookie.name. And of course, you can add some more styles to it. And if we copy this now and paste it here into a command block and run the, that command block, you see it translated the item.cookie.name into cookie because that's the English translation. However, if we take a different language, for example, Deutsch, um, what's going to happen? It's going to say cakes there because that's the correct German translation for cookie. And you can do this with any item, of course. And yeah, so using the translate and one of the translation keys like item.cookie.name, you're going to get an appropriate translation depending on what language the player is on. So let me just switch back again. And you see, it's cookie again. That's pretty nice. And one thing to note, though, is if I do scoreboard players set test uh, to one, for example, you see, even though this is the score selector here, it's not going to update the sign unless I click, uh, unless I refresh the block data. And you see, now it's not saying my name up there because I do not have a test score of at least 42. If I set my test score to over 9000 and refresh it, you see the score gets updated and my score, my player name is going to be shown again. And this is basically how this works. If you want to have it updated all the time, you should, um, apply this block data command uh, attach it to a full clock so it gets updated 20 times a second meaning it's basically instantly and the final thing that's missing for this tutorial is of course the click event so i'm going to show you how to do that let me just remove it and let's just say click here to get a then we can of course do item.cookie.name again a tasty cookie because who wants a non-tasty cookie of course so I can actually make it like this so just to underline um, this part you see you can do a pr very very much with that and yeah, so we can apply click events to the JSON sign. However, you can only apply one click event to each line of the sign, not to each element, to each line. And so there's a maximum of four elements, of course. And 
if you right click the sign no matter where you click it's going to execute all of the click events at once so if i simply check click event here um i can insert a command which the player is going to run so if i do a slash give at p a cookie and then copy it to clipboard you see if i just place down the command log again it gives me cookie because it executes slash give at p cookie um, of course i can add another click event this click event is now stored in the first sign line if i add one to the second line for example i can do slash say hi copy to clipboard again paste so now i'm going to get a cookie and say hi at the same time because um, this is how it works all of the click events get run at once and yeah the only thing to note there is that of course it's it's like the player types something in the chat when run command is used so there is a character limit of 100 so more than 100 characters will not be supported because the minecraft chat has an overflow otherwise and secondly some commands of course for example slash gif will only be usable by ops or if you're in a creative world like i am of course and in these cases you should use the slash scoreboard player set command with a trigger object objective because when you have a trigger objective everybody can uh, set his own score there just google it there is a nice video by dragnus explaining how the trigger works and yeah that's basically everything you need to know about the sign generator if you want to support me of course you can donate to me on paypal i would be very happy about that because uh, this was at least 10 hours of hard work and of course you can subscribe to me on youtube um, because i'm pretty sure i'm going to make more of that stuff so yeah if you want to donate i would be very happy because it keeps me doing such work the download link is in the video description thanks for watching see you in the next video bye and have a cookie